Hello, today we'll be doing today's daily read code question that is one for one linked list cycle. And the question states that we are given a head, the head of a linked list. Determine if the linked list has a cycle in it. There is a cycle in a linked list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, position is used to denote the index of the node that tail's next pointer is connected to. Position is not passed as a parameter, that is an important point, and we need to return true if there is a cycle in the linked list, otherwise return just a false. So according to the statement, what does it say? So this position that is here is just uh, not related, or you can just omit that part, and we will just understand what is given here. So we just have to return if there is a cycle, and what is a cycle? Let's say, as here you can see, there is a node which is going on till the last and the last node again joins back to some node but it is not pointing to null so this is just what the cycle means so the last node is not pointing to null that means there is a cycle okay so this is one of the things and by the way uh, there could be one of uh, the other things also it does not always mean that the last node is not pointing to null that means there is a cycle so there could be something like one two let's say a three and a four so i say this node is pointing to null right so you know if it is pointing to null uh there is a there is not a cycle but i could have something like three is again pointing to two so that means there is a cycle right so don't get confused in this so even if there is a null or not it doesn't matter if some node is pointing back to some other node in the linked list then that means there is a cycle so i hope you have understood what does a cycle mean and we just have to return that if there is a cycle or not that is it <clears throat> so now let's understand how we are going to do it so what are we going to do is we are going to take two pointers let's say suppose we have got one let me just draw this linked list as fast as i can one two three and a four okay and this guy is pointing to null fine and there is a cycle from three to one so what i said i've said that i'm going to take two pointers right so I've taken two pointers one pointer is called slow and one pointer is called fast and both these pointers are pointing to the head pointer only that is the first element only after that what it does is so slow moves by one fast moves by two and what do I mean by that so at first what will I do is I'll just move my slow by one so slow moves to the next guy and what does fast do fast moves by two that means it will jump here Again, it will jump. So fast is somewhere around here. Now what happens is I've told you slow is moving by one, fast is moving by two. So now slow again moves here. And what did I say? Fast will move by how many? By two. So from here, it will go here to two. Again, it will come back to three. So fast again come back to three. And whenever I see that slow is equals to equals to fast, that means both my slow and fast are pointing to the same <coughs> sorry position that means i can assuredly say that there is a cycle and why so okay so that is a question so let's take an example where we do not have this so i have something like one two three again a four and this is again pointing to null right so what do i see that at first slow is here fast is here fine so my slow moves by one my fast moves by what by two again my slow will move by one and as you can see my fast reaches null right so you will see that fast will always reach null or fast is next will always be equals to null so in that case we can say that yes there is a cycle present there and there are many videos uh, why this works so you could watch that so i'm just explaining explaining the uh, the code and just the intuition what you have to do so yeah let's get to the code now so 
this is the code let me just drag this okay so as i said we're just taking uh so this is a edge case so if the head is equals to null we just return false this is an edge case i've taken a temporary variable which is equals to head i've taken slow and fast as i told you and what do i do i move slow by one and fast by two okay and if at any point as i said slow is equals to fast like i drew there so whenever slow was equals to fast what did i say i just break out of the loop right and what do i say if my fast is not equals to null and fast of next is not equals to null what does this statement mean let's say oh i'll just take this maybe it's this also so let's say if i have something like one two or oh, three and i'll just draw one more link list right here that is one two three and four let's say for an instance that my fast is here that is a fast is equals to null right so what do i know that uh, that it cannot have a cycle right and what can i also know from just the observation simple observation that if fast is here that means if fast of next is equals to null that means there cannot be a cycle again right so that is what i have written here if fast is not equals to null and fast of next is not equals to null i will keep on going but if it is true that fast is equals to null indeed then i do not go on so just that i've just written that here if the next guy is null or i'm standing at null then just return false otherwise just return true so this is it for this explanation and the code as well and i've already submitted this i'll just submit this again and show it to you that it works perfectly fine okay and yeah so this works so i've already submitted this yes this works also so if you did understand this solution please do like